Hi, happy Tuesday, Muse Day. It's the middle of July and how time flies. It really does fly. And I'd like to, you know, I was I was thinking, talking about time flying by at the end of the year and, and I was thinking about Vegas and at the end of the year, I'm going to be there in Vegas for about three for three shows in November to uh, into the beginning of December. And um, so I thought, you know, I was like to bounce back in time and tell you a few things about it. In the early days, you know, when I first started back in 68 and I, and I went to this hotel, this wonderful hotel called the Riviera, and it was the start of my career way back in those days. And, and uh, I, did, I had a few friends who used to hang out with me at the, at the hotel, you know, and I had one friend, his name was JT, I was Jack Turner, and... Uh, he was such a great guy because he always kept me company, played golf for me, you know, and, and tennis and water skiing. And, and I had another friend called Hank, who was absolutely a great guy, who who to, who always, you know, was was around and, and took care of business for me. But my friend JT, you know, because I just opened up at the Riviera and the business was unbelievable. And he'd come up to me, he says, Angie, I've just come I've just come back from outside, he said. And the hotel across the road was, was called the um, the Thunderbird. He said, Angie, you're doing great business, he said. I, he said, the, the lines are so long, it makes the Thunderbird look busy. <laughs> so it used to make me feel good about those sort of things. And uh, hanging out in Vegas in the early days, you know, it was just wonderful because... Uh, there was just a few hotels, and and it was very entertaining in there. And the kind of people that were around at that particular particular time, and I enjoyed and I enjoyed meeting and meeting them eventually after when I first went there. People like you know like the great Dean Martin, who was who actually owned the hotel, and um, and Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and Jerry Lewis and and so many some wonderful people that I've met there. Roy Orbison, Elvis Presley, you know. Um, a great, great, great people of, of the of our entertainment era. Who I, I dearly miss some of them right now. I really do, and uh, who are not with us anymore. But uh, you know, in the early days, I would I just not. I'd, I'd go out for three months in a at a time, you know, so I, I was only allowed to stay in the country for 180 days. So each day was counted. So I had to do, uh, I had to work every day I was in the United States because I wasn't a, a resident then. And it was uh, kind of tough to stay in the country for 180 days, you know, so when I wasn't, wasn't working, I had to leave and go somewhere. So we wound up in places like Acapulco and Barbados. And I take my whole band with me and it was just, it was good times. But it was the early days, and I had to work hard in order to maintain a, uh, uh, make a good career for myself, you know. And uh, that's what I did. And because I carried, I carried about seventeen trunks of clothes on the road with me. And uh, one at one particular time, when I arrived in Vegas, and my assistant at the time was was a German gentleman called Werner. And I said to Werner that night, I said, Werner, I'm going to go see a show tonight. I said, I said, could, could you get my monogram red shirt out for me from from uh, you know from wherever it is so he puts this in there and he's looking at the 17 trunks all lined up in the suite he said uh, I think I think it's in front of these cases <laughs> so anyway I did carry a lot of clothes and the poor devil had to go through the whole bunch before he found it and um, um, I, you know I met people who came to see my show like um, you know, the, uh, Dean came in a, a lot to see the show because, you know, he used to hang out at Dino's, uh, Dino's Den and I often used to go there and have dinner and, and see him. What a wonderful time it was in the early days. I, nobody slept in Vegas, nobody slept. And, and, if you, and if you got Vegas throat, you know what Vegas throat is? No sleep. Anyway, uh, but I used to have a doctor that came in from... Uh, from um, uh, from Canada, and he'd spend a couple of weeks over there and make sure that I got through the the 56 shows in a row that I did. It was two shows a night, and I used to do about 300 shows a year. Can you believe that? Uh, but nevertheless, it, I I really enjoyed it. I worked hard, and uh, we had great times in Vegas. We used to go out on the lake, and they always provided a boat for me with with all, all catered for you know, and uh, and I take all my friends on there and I spend the day over there. 
and then at night I, I, I'd come back in and I'd get ready for my rehearsal and do the two shows. It was a wonderful time, and the, the, the people that used to come in were always immaculately dressed, uh, immaculately dressed, you know, and, and my wife used to spend a lot of time there with me, and she carried more clothes than I did, believe me, because every show she ever came to, she had a different outfit on it, and she was a very stylish lady, and I was very proud of her, and um, uh, I hope all that begins to happen again soon, you know, but Vegas... Capital Entertainment City of the World is, was very exciting, very wonderful. And it still is to this day, a little bit overcrowded with hotels, but, you know, it's still, it's still that amazing, amazing place to play. I'm going to see you there soon. So this is my Tuesday Musday little piece of message to you, okay? But uh, don't forget all the wonderful pe people that I met, okay? And, and I'm going to meet in the near future. Take care. Bye.